Clarence Mingo from Ohio. Correct. Columbus, Ohio. Tell me about your experiences in Columbus, Ohio, your visit here to Washington, D.C., and your thoughts on this trailblazer honoree event today here by the INC at Howard Theater. Well, I think it's um, I think it's fitting to celebrate African Americans during this month in particular, um, but it's especially unique to honor those African American Republicans who have perhaps labored very hard but who often don't get the recognition or credit they deserve for what they've done. And so today was a special day just to look at those African-Americans who've labored to celebrate them. They happen to be Republican. That's a great notation. But the fact that there are Americans laboring hard like this deserves a lot of mention. You know, the importance of outreach was a big conversation today. In Ohio, uh, speak to some of the ways that uh, the Republican Party and, and your office actually just uh, speaks to the community, listens to the community in your hometown. Well, we, we do a couple things um, in Ohio from a political standpoint. The GOP is sincere is sincere about reaching out to African Americans in every single constituency, messaging that we exist, that we have policies that are beneficial to our state and to our local communities, and then we're explaining what those policies are. The goal is not merely to create and recruit Republicans, but to share sound policies that can change culture and life for people. And we're trying to do that with sincerity and in a positive way. And then as a candidate and as an elected official, I have the same obligation. Not one single constituency can be left behind. And I think any elected official in America, whether you're Republican or Democrat, I think you have to hold fast to that principle. Well, that's certainly an important message. It certainly resonated with the audience here today. Well, it did because every American believes in that. On some level, every American wants to know that their elected officials value them, irrespective of their, pol uh, irrespective of their political affiliation. That value is there because they're part of our community and in our culture. Uh, we're trying to master that on the GOP side, and I think we're being effective this year. That's well, great to meet you, sir. Likewise, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.